Hey everybody, it's day two of the push and pull challenge. I'm here with my mom. Today I'm gonna just go quickly through the push and pull. I'm not really gonna, I'm just gonna video every set. I'm not going to talk you through every set, but I will talk you through my leg day. So stay tuned, have a good day. All right, so both of these next two workouts, the medicine ball throws and the kettlebell squats are two of my favorite warmups because they really make you explosively work the different muscles um, for legs and they help you widen your hips. Look at my mom, killing her cardio. <laughs> All right, so make sure you do leg press. So leg press is a really great workout for preparing for squats and deadlifts. I try to do low weights, high reps. It tends to work your glutes and a little bit of hamstring. And so it's a good warm up for both of those exercises. Doing it. Yeah. Feel that. Some days are you're a little bit more motivated than others, but yeah. Stop, I'm trying to get in the habit of getting in here this time of the day. Yeah. They say it takes two weeks for a habit, brother. Yeah. I know how it is. <laughs> day two. Yeah. No, I, so. I, 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 yeah. So the guy I was talking to, well, I was doing this um, leg press. Is a lower for USA. He's an amazing. Guy. So always make sure you warm up properly for squats, deadlifts. I'm not gonna do deadlifts today just because it's gonna kill my kind of strength. Especially with trying to do all the pulls. Um, but make sure you warm up properly because you're not going to pull muscle. I'm going to start off, I'm going to wrap my knees, and start off with the bar and work on the increments. I'm pretty weak, my max is 210. I'm like, because I had compartment surgeries, and I'm working my way up. So, no matter where you're starting at, just go from there. One tip I have is never be afraid to take wisdom from older guys. The guy just came older, over, saw me wrapping my legs. I've known him for a while. He told me try to wrap it the other way, and it actually feels a lot better wrapping it the other way. But here we go. Alright, so during that last set, I was trying to talk you through what I was doing, or the warm-up for the squats, and um, I realized you can't hear it very well when I was making editing the video, so I just wanted to tell you, so really when I'm warming up my squats, I, like when I'm just squatting with the bar, I'm not looking to do 30, 40 reps with the bar, because that's not hard. Um, what I'm looking to do is open up my hips. That's why I put my knees down, stayed down in that squat for a long time. And then I came up, stretched down. And after that, like the next video, I'm also trying to explain it to you, but you can't hear me again. So, um, in the next video, I do, I start off at 25s on each side so that's 95 pounds and i go up to 115 which is 35 on each side 135 and then i work my way up from 135 in increments of 10 to 185 typically and i'm not too strong in my squat because of structural issues we'll call them and um so i really can only squat like my max is like 235 245 it's not that great but you do what you can and i'm working my way up hopefully one day i'll be squatting 400 
was my first set of push-ups. Feel a little tight. So I did switch squat racks because the one I was using is more like for deadlifts and stuff. It doesn't have good solid basics to this one. So just really preference on my part. So basically my whole lift, my push and pulls are gonna be from this angle because it makes it really easy to squat down. Sorry about that, it's a weird angle. So I just got really lightheaded, and that's fine. It's perfectly normal with lifting, um, especially early in the mornings, because um, I didn't have like a full breakfast. I haven't had a full meal of day yet. Last time I ate was last night. I did have like um, fruits and protein bar before I came in, um, but it's perfectly normal to get lightheaded. If you do get lightheaded, don't be afraid to take a break. Um, now, you can't be scared to pass out and grow up because if you're scared to do that, you're not going to be getting better. But do the best you can, push through, give it everything you got. With something like squats, never be afraid to slowly work your way up and wait like I'm doing what I did. The bar which is 45 pounds and 225 plate or 25 plate on each side is 95. Then I do 115 for three sets of five. Now I'm gonna go to 145, but never be afraid to go slow and get a good solid warm up, get your muscles loose because it's never bad to get a lot of reps um if you're going for bulking and you're weaker just do what you can um like i'm bulking <laughs> i'm going for bulking and i'm weaker so but i'm trying to do a lean bulk so it's a little odd the muscles are a little weaker due to my diet but no problem just push through um and never really give up, take the breaks when you need them. All right, so I'm actually just gonna do two sets of this 135 for five reps, and then move on to a new lift, because I don't know what it is, but the squats are really messing with my head. No big problem, just better to do a different workout for the same muscles than push yourself in something that's not feeling right. Make sure to remember that. All right, so what's going on is when your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes down. That's normal. That's how your body's supposed to function. Um, and right now, because I started a new pre-workout today, um, I ran out yesterday, and I started a new one today. And it's a different brand that I've ever used before. I think between that and then the low food, and then because I didn't drink a lot of water before I came in, at, before I woke up, because I rolled out of bed, put on, hoodie sweatpants, got out of the car and drove here. Um, between those three things, I think my blood pressure is really low. I think that's why the squats are messing with my head. Um, it's fine. I'm not worried. I did take the wraps off my legs for this last set to maybe try and get some more blood circulation through my legs, but I hit this last set and keep doing my push-pulls and I'll go in the other room 
and do more calisthenic bodyweight type stuff um, because I don't think heavyweights is wise. I may do heavyweights again before I leave, but if I don't, that's okay because I'm going for overall fitness. So if I do explosive bodyweight stuff, what am I really hurting, right? So because I am getting lightheaded, I'm gonna take a little longer breaks between sets. Not that's necessarily bad. And I'm also not gonna do the super set of push-ups and pull-ups. I mean, I'm still gonna do the super set, but I'm gonna go away from a pull-up bar to do my push-ups. And I'm gonna come back and just give myself a gap to walk instead of popping straight up from push-up to pull-up because that cause, um, causes pastoral hypertension, hypotension, hypo, which is low. Um, and since I'm already having a little blood pressure to my head, I just don't think that's wise. So, I'll show you how it goes. So behind me is the rack where I was squatting. These are my favorite pull-up bars in the gym because they're the only ones that are conducive for someone of my height. All right, so you'll notice a moment in that last video where I really um, almost f <laughs> reach failure on those push-ups, but I push through it. Um, in those moments, you can't let your knees drop to the ground, especially in push-ups. But if you um, go up into like a downward dog, which you can see I almost did, I didn't go all the way up into it, but if you do that, it helps a lot and your mind isn't like, oh, we're done. Your mind is like, okay, Come on, push through. So that's really important. Your mind is telling your body like, oh, we're not done yet. But when you your knees go down, your mind is like, yep, we're done. And it's gonna be a lot harder to get into the rest of those sets. All right, I'm a little under halfway there. Um, well, I'm gonna take a break just for like 10, 15 minutes and hopefully I feel a little better afterwards. Um, I don't know what's going on. Can't complain though, you know, you never know what you're gonna get, so you gotta work with what you got. All right, so I'm taking a break. I'm sitting outside. Um, it's like 30, 35 degrees out here, but it actually feels really good and I can feel my heart rate, heart rate going down. I do want to teach y'all something. So there's this thing called a Valsalva maneuver. Um, it's used by doctors and stuff to decrease heart rate and increase blood pressure. And Valsalva maneuver is anything that forces you to exhale after a full inspiration forcefully. So like a cough, or even if you're like, if you, <sighs> that's a Valsalva maneuver and that decreases your heart rate as well. So if you are ever in the gym, and you feel like your heart rate is too high, try it. And hopefully it works. I'm not a doctor, but I believe you can take my word for it and try it. Hope it works for you. So I did a little research on Valsalva maneuvers before I posted this video and for the most part, everything I said is correct. I do want to say one thing, and that is that you should not do it excessively. So, like I said, if you have a cough, or not if you have a cough, if you are doing it with a cough, don't, like, hack up everything in you. Just, like, do a... <clears throat> That's what will do it. A single... <clears throat> not, like, a dying, like oh my gosh, I have bronchitis or something. Just a single cough or a like a light grunt. If you make, if you feel like you are having more trouble being lightheaded um, because of it, stop. You can, <laughs> honestly, you can ask your doctor what he thinks about it or she thinks about it, but 
just be safe, don't overdo anything, and stay within your range of where you're safe at. I'm gonna finish pull-ups now. I'm gonna do five sets of nine, or try to, um, and I'll finish push-ups and legs tonight. Hopefully, I'll feel a little better then. So I did my math wrong. Um, so since I was doing five sets of nine, I have to do one less set than I thought I did. Well, not really. Um, so I did two sets of nine, now I'm gonna do two sets of 11 and be done. Good. Alright, Mom. Tell me why you like yoga. Oh. I like yoga because of the sustained stretches that you get that hold everything in place. So you do the strength training, you do cardio, you do core work, mm. but you need the sustained stretches because it gives your muscles a different kind of action. Yeah. Why did you start yoga? Um, I had a neuromuscular disease and they told me that yoga would be good for my muscles. Cool. It's also good mentally because you learn to slow down, to pace yourself, to be in the moment. So do you think everybody should do yoga? Yes, I think everyone should you do yoga. Well, as you get older, you start to lose your balance more and it's huge for balance. Um, if I go without doing yoga for a week or two, then I have problem, more problems with balance than what I had before. Okay. So you think it, like, it improves your quality of life, flexibility. What do you think for like bodybuilding? Should they, like, is, like, do you think it could help build muscle mass and especially like muscle tone? I don't know if it builds muscle mass or if it builds muscle tone, but it, you, you need to do more than one type of thing with your muscles. So what it, it, it does is it provides that sustained stretch and that level of flexibility, which is only going to help someone who's doing bodybuilding, I would think. What do I know? I'm just a mom. Last 80. Here we go. Alright, so I just finished all my push-ups and pull-ups for the day. That is day two in the books. My chest is pretty sore, but I think I'll be alright. Um, tomorrow, I'll be posting two videos. I'll be posting the push and pulls, and I'll finish legs tomorrow. I didn't get to it tonight because I am going into finals week and I am studying hard. Um, but I'll finish legs tomorrow, and I will also be posting a second video. Which I just said. The second video will be a tutorial of lifts and exercises that can help you build up to doing a pull up. And I will show you all of that tomorrow. So make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I hope everyone had a great day.